Hey guys, welcome back to the tutorial series for my favorite programming language, Python. So in this eighth video in this series, we're gonna take a look at the help function. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into the Python shell here. And let's go ahead and take a look at the help function. So in its simplest form, we can just type help in then some parentheses, just like this, and I'll press enter. And we can see right away we get a console. We Our prompt changed, now we have a help prompt. And we get some text up here that basically tells us about this Python help utility. So I mentioned that this is a help function, but what is a function? Well, we haven't gone over functions just yet. We will, but I don't wanna to get too involved into that right now. But basically a function is a collection of code that can help us format and better organize our overall script. In this case though, the help function allows us to view information about various objects within the Python language. And one example of that is print. We've been using print for quite some time now to print text out to the terminal. Normally we execute it like that. And inside print, we would put something and it would basically print that to the screen. So print is a function as well. A function has parentheses. Obviously there's more to it than that. But for the help uh, function here, we're not actually going to use the parentheses or anything. If we want to look up an object, such as print, we don't actually need the two parentheses. We'll just use print by itself. If I press enter, it basically gives us information for this built-in function. So from right here, we can actually get a little bit more information about what print is and what it does for us. And it even shows us how to put in a new line if we need to do that. And it then, then gives us some additional information. And I'll go ahead and press Q right there to get out of that. So we looked up the help for print. So let's go ahead and see if list, an object type or data type, is listed in help. So if I press enter, it is. And we can see right here that it's a class. And it's basically a list object, or list is an object. And now we can see that it actually is here. We can view information about the list object. And we get all, all, all kinds of different information here about the various things that we can add to it. I mean, the Python language is pretty large, so I can't go over all of this right here, obviously. But if you ever wanted to know more about a particular object, then help is a great way to do that. So I'll press Q. And I'm gonna go ahead and exit the help right now by pressing Q and then enter. And now we're back to the standard Python prompt right here. So what we can actually do is we don't have to go to the help shell. We can simply just type help. And then in the parentheses, we could type something that we want to get help about. So like I mentioned print before, I could simply do this and it gives us the exact same information. So the same if I was to do list, it takes us right into the individual object that we are trying to find out more information about. All right, so I've cleared the screen. And in a previous video, we used int, which I'm not gonna go over again in this video, but you know, as you can expect, you can get help about that as well. And we can see here that it basically allows us to convert a number or string into an integer, which we already know because we've gone over that. But essentially, I just wanna make sure that you guys understand that the help function exists and that is something that you can use to get more information about an object in Python. So I recommend that you give that a shot and just put all kinds of things into the parentheses for the help function just to see what kinds of information you can find. Because one of the most important things when you're learning a programming language is you need to know exactly where to go in order to get information. And in future videos, I'm going to show you additional resources that you can read or peruse at your own discretion to get even more information about Python and then expand your knowledge. So I know this is a quick video, it's just a single function, but again, I just wanna make sure that you guys know that the help function exists, how to get to it, how to use it, and um, you know, basically get used to finding information via help, and that'll just be part of your tool set. So thanks again for watching. Thank you so much for watching my video, guys. I really appreciate it. 
If you want to help me out, go ahead and check out my sponsor and my cloud server provider, Linode. Linode now features a new and improved dashboard, their cloud manager, that makes it an absolute breeze to set up your own Linux server. They even have Arch Linux, how cool is that? And of course they have all the staples such as CentOS, Debian, Ubuntu, Fedora, and more. And it's very easy to set up a server near you. In fact, Linode currently has nine worldwide data centers with two more set to appear this year in India and Canada. So definitely check them out guys. I appreciate them as a sponsor. I appreciate you guys as a viewer. So thanks again for watching. Subscribe to my channel. I will have more content coming for you very soon. Stay tuned.